As rock legend Ozzy Osbourne explores the potential benefits of stem cell therapy, experts caution that such treatments may not be suitable for everyone. Recently, during an episode of Ozzy Speaks on Sirius Amen with Billy Morrison, Osborne disclosed that he had just returned from a follow-up appointment after receiving stem cell therapy. This visit marked his second treatment, with the first having occurred roughly three months prior. Osborne shared his mixed feelings about the therapy, stating, The thing is, you have it. And you go, I don't feel that great, but I don't know what it would be like if I didn't have it. His comments reflect the uncertainty and complexity often associated with evaluating the effectiveness of stem cell treatments. Over the past several years, Osborne has faced numerous severe health challenges that have significantly impacted his mobility. These include a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, which has compounded the difficulties he faces in his day-to-day -day life. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that affects movement and can cause tremors, stiffness, and balance issues. For Osborne, managing these symptoms has been an ongoing struggle. Stem cell therapy has garnered attention as a potential treatment for a variety of conditions, including neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease. The therapy involves using stem cells to repair or replace damaged cells in the body, potentially alleviating symptoms and improving quality of life. However, it remains a topic of debate within the medical community. While some patients report significant improvements, others experience minimal or no benefits. Moreover, the long-term effects and safety of stem cell therapy are still under investigation. Medical professionals emphasize that stem cell therapy is not a one-size-fits-all solution and may not be appropriate for everyone. The effectiveness of the treatment can vary widely depending on the individual and the specific condition being treated. Additionally, there are risks associated with the procedure, including potential complications from the injection process and the possibility of unforeseen side effects. Osborne's openness about his health struggles and treatment experiences highlights the ongoing search for effective therapies for debilitating conditions like Parkinson's disease. His journey reflects the broader challenges faced by many individuals seeking relief from chronic health issues. As research into stem cell therapy continues, it is hoped that more conclusive evidence will emerge, guiding both patients and healthcare providers in making informed decisions about this promising but still experimental treatment. In the meantime, Osborne's story serves as a reminder of the importance of cautious optimism and thorough medical consultation when considering new and emerging therapies. For those living with chronic conditions, exploring all available options in consultation with their healthcare team remains crucial to finding the most suitable and effective treatments. After embarking on stem cell treatment in 2020, rock legend Ozzy Osbourne expressed a desire to be a part of the world again, a sentiment echoed by his daughter Kelly Osbourne. At the time, Kelly remarked, seeing, after one treatment of stem cell, what has happened and the progress that he's made is mind-blowing, highlighting the significant improvements observed in her father's condition. Fox News Digital reached out to Ozzy Osbourne for comment on his ongoing treatment and its effects. Below, we provide an in-depth overview of stem cell therapy, including its potential benefits and associated risks. What are stem cells? Stem cells are versatile cells found in nearly every tissue of the body. According to the Mayo Clinic, these cells have unique capabilities. Some are integral to repairing tissues after injuries, while others can differentiate into various cell types, such as brain cells, heart muscle cells, or bone cells. This versatility makes them a promising avenue for medical treatments and regenerative therapies. We routinely use cellular therapies, including stem cells, to treat cancers of the blood and bone marrow, said Dr. Michael Seckers, chief of the Division of Hematology at the Sylvester Cancer Center at the University of Miami, to Fox News Digital. This underscores the established medical uses of stem cells in certain contexts, particularly in oncology. Benefits of Stem Cell Therapy Stem cell therapy has gained attention for its potential to treat a wide range of conditions, 
For individuals like Ozzy Osbourne, who suffers from Parkinson's disease, stem cells offer hope for alleviating symptoms and possibly restoring some level of function and mobility. Parkinson's disease, a progressive neurological disorder, severely affects movement and coordination, leading to significant challenges benefits in of stem life. cell therapy include tissue regeneration. Stem cells can potentially regenerate damaged tissues, offering relief for conditions like osteoarthritis, spinal cord injuries, and heart diseases. Reduction of inflammation. In conditions characterized by chronic inflammation, such as multiple sclerosis or rheumatoid arthritis, stem cell therapy may help reduce inflammatory responses. Neurological repair. For neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, stem cells could replace damaged neurons, potentially improving motor function and quality of life. Risks and controversies. Despite the potential benefits, stem cell therapy is not without risks and controversies. It remains an area of active research and its long-term efficacy and safety are still being evaluated. Some key concerns include risk of tumor formation, since stem cells can proliferate rapidly, there is a potential risk of them forming tumors if they grow uncontrollably. Current state of research. The medical community continues to explore and refine stem cell therapies, aiming to maximize their benefits while minimizing risks. Clinical trials are ongoing, and researchers are cautiously optimistic about the future applications of this technology. For now, stem cell therapy is often considered experimental, particularly for conditions like Parkinson's disease where traditional treatments remain the standard of care. Dr. Seckers delves into the intricate dance between aggressive chemotherapy and the delicate balance of our body's own defenses. In his expert opinion, administering high doses of chemotherapy to combat cancers can inadvertently wreak havoc on the bone marrow, the very source of our body's vital blood cells. This collateral damage poses a grave risk potentially wiping out healthy cells alongside cancerous ones. However, he presents a beacon of hope amidst this medical conundrum, the concept of rescuing the bone marrow through the infusion of stem cells from a healthy donor. The introduction of stem cells into the equation heralds a new era of treatment possibilities. Dr. Seckers elaborates on this promising avenue, highlighting the profound impact it can have on patients battling cancer. These transplanted stem cells not only serve as the foundation for a rejuvenated bone marrow, but also possess the remarkable ability to craft a fresh immune system. This newfound immunity becomes a potent weapon, capable of identifying and eradicating any residual cancer cells lurking within the body's depths. It's a testament to the transformative power of modern medicine, with stem cell therapy emerging as a life-saving intervention for countless individuals worldwide. However, Dr. Sickers issues a cautionary note amidst the backdrop of optimism surrounding stem cell therapy. While its potential is undeniable, he underscores the reality that its application beyond approved indications remains largely uncharted territory. Stem cell therapy, when employed for alternative purposes, ventures into the realm of experimentation, its efficacy and safety yet to be fully validated. This distinction is critical serving as a reminder of the importance of evidence-based medicine and rigorous scientific inquiry in guiding therapeutic decisions. In the realm of medical science, the journey from innovation to implementation is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. Stem cell therapy, with its transformative potential, stands as a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of healing and discovery. Yet, as we navigate this frontier of possibility, it is essential to tread carefully guided by the twin beacons of scientific rigor and compassionate care. Dr. Okun underscores the importance of informed decision-making when considering participation in stem cell trials. Patients are advised to exercise caution and vigilance, ensuring that they are not charged for participation, a hallmark of ethical research practices. Stem cell therapy remains investigational, and any financial transactions associated with research participation should raise red flags. Dr. Okun sounds a note of caution against the proliferation of stem cell tourism, 
a burgeoning industry fraught with potential risks and pitfalls. Stem cell tourists may be lured by promises of miraculous cures, only to find themselves embroiled in a web of exorbitant fees and irreversible side effects. In the wake of mounting concerns surrounding unapproved stem cell products, vigilance is paramount. Dr. Seckers underscores the need for rigorous oversight and regulation to safeguard patient welfare. Previous outbreaks linked to unapproved stem cell therapies serve as cautionary tales, underscoring the imperative of evidence-based practice and adherence to established guidelines. Stem cell therapy, while holding immense promise, must be approached with circumspection, guided by principles of scientific rigor, ethical integrity, and patient safety.